Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. I'm going to welcome you to my channel, uh, all my subscribers, all my peaches, triggers, lovers, haters, commenters, scallywags, each and every one of you, I welcome you to my channel. Well, I'm going to call this uh, subtle racism. When racism is um, subtle and sometimes you know, if you point it out, you know, they think you're crazy or you're the only one or no, that's not how it is. But it's it's so and woven and woven and woven in people that they don't realize that uh, what you just did was racist. You know, uh, now um, I think it's important that I put this on here on on this one particular video of, of uh, Gerard Black in the Philippines with a baby, because you know, I you know, if my if my little girl ever gets to watch this, you know, I want her to know the type of world that uh, you know how it is, you know, with her with it right now, and it doesn't matter on what side of the Atlantic or 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 the um, Pacific or or what side of the world you know it is. It's it's there. You know, people are going to have preconditioned notions of you, you know, even, even, even if they know you, even if they think you're a terrific guy, but found in the right situation, it'll flare up every time. For instance, um, you know, I, I was with, you know, um, about seven guys, you know, and a couple of girls, and we are partaking in this activity that we do. And, you know, there's money involved. And so, anyway, so um, the person who was holding the money, you know, was getting ready to leave. Now, mind you, any one of us could step in and say, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll do it. It's, it's, and no one would think twice about it. No one would say, okay, fine, it, it's okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, you, you can do it. Because we're all equal. We're all on an equal footing. We all got the same amount of invest, invested in this activity. So, so and there's no, there's, there's no reward for, for doing anything that the scrupulous, <laughs> let's just say. So uh, when the guy says, uh, okay, look, I'm leaving, but uh, you gotta have somebody to hold the money. And so I said, I'll hold it. He went, no, I'm not sure. I said, oh, really? Oh, really? See, that's subtle racism, you understand? And if I would have pointed out to him what he just did, you know, everyone would say, oh, no, no, no. Sure it is. Why would you not let the black man hold the money? Why would you say, oh, no, not you? <laughs> Why? Why? We're friends. We've been doing this for a long time. So why all of a sudden, you know, you know, I, I'm not, you know, I, you know, I, 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 I'm, sh I'm frowned upon to be the one to hold the money, you know? Oh my God! And it's in, in my mind, you know, my mind say, man, you know, that's really fucked up. That's really fucked up, man. Why won't you? Now I could have made a big deal out of it and say, yo, yo, my man, why wouldn't you let me hold the money? What is wrong with that? What you think I'm gonna do with it? Gonna run away with it? You know, for what, with two, three thousand pesos? I mean, that's not real, real money. Why? Why did you have that reaction when I made the suggestion that I hold it so this way you can go about your business? You know, oh man. So, little girl, I'm gonna tell you right now, you know, it's it's out here. You know, I hope your world will be different. I hope your world will be better. I hope your world will be, you know, um, a lot less, you know, subtle confrontationist as minds is today. Okay, so with that being said, you know, uh, I'm gonna put this little footage in here of, of Duchess and I, you know, because after all, it's dry black in the Philippines with the baby, and I, I gotta put this piece in here. Now, the thing about this piece I'm putting in here, my singing to her, is that at the end of the, now, you know I have two other daughters, you know, Gianna and Janelle. And um, uh, Gianna, I haven't spoken to in over 25 years, for whatever reason, you know, in her mind, you know, you know, I spoke to her mother and her mother is, you no, know, she doesn't want me to talk to you about her life. And I asked his dad, do you think that's right? You know, do you think it's right for you to not to, to tell uh, uh, her father how well she's doing or how bad she's doing or anything about her? I mean, do, I mean, how do you feel about that? Oh, I feel that, you know, that's what she wants. I said, 
It's another example of your, um, when you make a child your friend. And not only that, but my oldest daughter has a very dominating personality. She's just like a very dominating personality. And she, she's dominated her mother. She's controlled the mother and her younger sister all her life. So anyway, so, and I have a second daughter, a second daughter who, who you know, is, is in New York and, and, you know, she's battling what she's battling, you know, um, you know, her issues and, and you know, um, I, I, I pray for her all the time. And, and every now and then she would call me, but I haven't heard from her in a long time, you know, so, um, so anyway, so I'm, um, um, you know, um, I'm singing to Janelle. I mean to Duchess. I keep getting them mixed up. I'm singing to Duchess in this in this clip, and then the last song I sing is from the Debarge. It's called um, all, "All This Love," and there's a part that says, "You know, say you really love me, baby. Say you really love me, darling. You know." And I always say, "Say you really love me, Gianna. Say you really love me, Gian Janelle." And um, uh, uh, all my girls are listening. So now I put um, Duchess's name. Say you really love me, Duchess. Say you really love me. And when I said the last one, say you really love me, Janelle, my phone rang. And I, I, I stop it. And, uh, you know, because she was calling my New York line. Calling, and I said, I said hello? Because oftentimes I get a call on, on that line and they don't say nothing. All they do is just you know, hang up or whatever, bill collector, you know, whatever. So um, she says, uh, I said, hello. She said, daddy. I said, oh my God, oh my God. I said, God is so great, you know. God is so great. I was just, the name, your name, just passed my lips. Say you really love me, Janelle. Say you really love me, Janelle. And you called. Wow. So I had a wonderful conversation with Janelle. You know, um, after this, because uh, uh, um, uh, it's, it's been almost a year, only two years. And Janelle will call me a little bit more frequent than that. But because of what she's going through, she hadn't. So anyway, so that was the amazing thing about my singing to, to Duchess this time, that while singing it, her sister. And then I told Janelle, I said, Janelle, do you know you have a, a sister? She said, I what? She was excited. And she, I, I, hear, I hear the tears through the phone of, of her missing her father. Oh, my God. And then I said, who do you love? Uh, you throw me a kiss. Mm -hmm. And that was our thing that we always would do over the phone. But I could hear the tears. In, in her voice and, and my fighting back minds from speaking to my number two. All right, so enjoy this little short right here and I'll be right back. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share, and like. I'm just a chigolo everywhere I go. People know the part I'm playing. Pay for every dance, selling each romance. Ooh, what to say? There will come a day when youth will pass away. What would they say about your daddy when the end comes? I know he was just a gigolo. Life goes on without him because I ain't got nobody except you, Duchess. Nobody cares about me. Nobody cares about me. I'm so sad and lonely. Want some sweet pretty mama? Come take a chance on me, cause I ain't so bad. I ain't got nobody except you, Duchess. Nobody cares about me. Nobody cares about me. I'm so sad and lonely. Won't some sweet, pretty mama take a chance on me? Because I ain't so bad. All of the time. Um, Duchess likes hearing me sing to her. 
And that same turret puts him right to sleep, smile on her face, and a big wah. <laughs> but right now she's crushed out. Ah, uh, my little angel. Ah, oh, man. God is so good to me. Everything I keep asking for, he provides. Everything I work toward, I achieve. I gotta get, I got, I'm, I got to get to a I'm doctor. I need to have a complete physical, a complete overall. But in the meantime, uh, what's another song I can say? Let me see. I like doing this to her nose. Let me see. What's another song? It's right on the tip of my tongue. It's one with Sammy Davis Jr. And he sings this song. Right, let's see. Here the coach will just give me a moment. I want to say button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take a good, but that's not the same. That's one of Light the candle, light the light. I'll arrive late tonight. Bye bye, Duchess. Where somebody waits for me, sugar sweet. So is she. Bye, bye, brown bird. No one here can love or understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. So light the candle. Light the light. Oh, my stone tonight. Blackbird. Bye bye. -bye. Blackbird. Bye. Uh, let me see. I had some problems, and no one could seem to solve them. But you found the answer. And told me to take this chance and learn the ways of love, my girls, and all that I have to offer. And all that I have, I give my all to you. And all this love is waiting for you, my duchess, my girls. And all this love is waiting for you. I had some problems, and no one could seem to solve them. But you, you, you found the answer, and told me to take this chance to learn the way I love my baby. And all that it has to offer, and all that I have, I give my all to you. And all this love is waiting for you, my girls, my duchess. And all this love is waiting for you. So you really love me, baby. Say we love it all. And after all I went and put myself through, I found that all I really needed was you. And after all the happiness in my life, I found that I need you. Please hear me. Say we love me, baby. Say we love me, baby. Say we love me, Gianna. Say we love me, Janelle. Say we love me, Duchess. Say we love me, Gianna. Say we love me, Gianna. Say we love me, Duchess. 
Say we love you, Gianna. Say we love you, Janelle. Oh, of course, I really love you, Duchess. You know I really love you, child, Janelle. All this love is waiting for you, too. It feels very good to be able to do it right. To get an opportunity to do it right. I know my first children were born that I was just started moving too fast. And it robbed me of a lot of moments and of time. And I wish oh, I should have been there. But this right here, this right here, this right here, I will be there for her. For as long as I can. As long as I'm alive. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Someone's going to hell today. Okay, thanks for watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans of waiting action. Never disrespect the elderly. Always pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. And the best way to life is to live good. I'm living good today. I hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ollie Woodson, formerly singing a Temptation one song, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king and never say no. And children, why don't you make it today a good day to call your father and tell him that you love him, especially if he's living in the Philippines. Because you know, a lot of you kids turn your backs on your father because he left the country. You know, and those of you who haven't, who are, who are happy that your father are living his best life, being happy. Be that as it may on which side of the aisle your situation may fall in, I think today's a good day to call them and tell you, tell them you love them. I'll talk to you later. Peace.